birds are not the only animals to have had feathers. We now know that theropod dinosaurs could be covered in downy feathers or at least proto feathers as well. We also know that birds are not the only animals to have had flight feathers. Dinosaurs, uh, theropod dinosaurs, could also possess flight feathers as well on their arms and also shorter forms on their legs. Not all of these dinosaurs could fly, so it appears that flight feathers must have had some use even in animals which could not use them to fly. Perhaps for courtship, perhaps for gliding, perhaps to better steer during the air while making a leap at prey, uh, perhaps to uh, surround prey that were being grabbed with the hands. Whatever the function, flight feathers may not have originated as flying structures, but rather have had another function in the dinosaurs in which they evolved, which could not fly. There are a number of dinosaurs known, which not only possessed downy feathers or proto feathers along their body which might have allowed them to keep warm, but which also possessed flight feathers, the types of feathers with the central rachis, much larger which modern birds use to fly. Not all of these dinosaurs could fly, but nevertheless these feathers which we term flight feathers were present in Caudipteryx, Protoarchaeopteryx, Microraptor, Rahona, Scansoriopteryx, and Anchiornis. Some of these were able to fly, we would believe, such as Microraptor, Rahona, Anchiornis, and Scansoriopteryx. Not only were flight feathers present on the arms, but smaller flight feathers were present on the legs as well. A few other dinosaurs, such as Velociraptor and Avimimus, also seem to have had flight feathers, not because feathers have been, been preserved with the fossils, but their attachment points have. So evidence suggests that flight feathers were present in these dinosaurs as well.